Hello everybody, my name is William and welcome back to another Roblox Bee Swarm Simulator video where today I would like to talk about and explain the ultimate stick bug guide. It's not ultimate ultimate, but I'm gonna call it that because it's extremely useful and honestly this could help you guys out a lot. Alright, so before we get started, I'm going to explain like the stick bug scores to get specific amulets. There are four amulets, bronze, silver, gold, and diamond. And how do you get a bronze stick bug amulet? Stick bug must be level five. So you gotta defeat him enough times, get him to a level five stick bug, and you need a score of one million. To get the silver stick bug amulet, you need a score of eight million, and the stick bug must be level eight. To get the gold stick bug amulet you need a score of at least 20 million and the stick bug must be level 11 it can be obviously above that number and this applies to all of them and for a diamond stick bug amulet you need a score at least of 50 million and also stick bug must be level 13 and above all right so to start off i'm gonna go ahead and explain what you should do before you even start the stick bug so before you start the stick bug have at least four people in your server and at maximum to help you with stick bug you're gonna need two other people to attack and one to two other people for totems. Totems are, they're these little totems that spawn in like just random fields such as like the pine tree forest, rose field, spider field, stump field, blue flower field, dandelion field. They all spawn in those fields. And totems take away 20 five percent of the damage that you deal so it gives stick bug 25 percent defense and that's a huge chunk and if you have four totems active at the same time i'm not even sure if that's possible but i believe stick bug will be pretty much invincible because that's a hundred percent defense but yeah so totems that can spawn in those random listed fields and they give a ton of defense to stick bug so it's good to have one to two people going ahead and taking down those totems because you got to collect a specific number of pollen inside the field that the totem is in for the totem to to disappear and remove that 25 defense. All right, now here's another tip for stick bug. Make sure that you have at least three sources of rage. And what a source of rage is, is like a rage bee because it drops rage tokens or like a spicy bee because it drops also, you know, rage tokens. So if you have three sources of rage, like let's say three rage bees, three spicy bees, one rage bee, two spicy bees, two rage bees, one spicy bee, who knows? Just as long as it's three sources of rage because you will have pretty much infinite rage for the entire thing like it should supply you with just enough to be able to give you that three times rage buff throughout the entire stick bug if you're collecting the rage tokens that is and three times rage will actually give you three extra b attack which can really affect your damage by a lot you deal so much more damage with rage activated and now another thing if you have the vicious bee be sure you have it inside of your hive because vicious bee really helps with stick bugs to take down the stick nymphs and the stick nymphs are these little miniature stick bugs that spawn in the field when stick bug does like a little dance he'll just summon a bunch of little stick nymphs and those stick nymphs will chase you down and start dealing damage to you and stick nymphs can be very problematic throughout a stick bug run i'm gonna quickly tell you this but an easy way to defeat stick nymphs is if you jump back and forth over top of them like this depends on your jump power but if you have like the coconut clogs or the gummy boots you should be able to be like just jumping straight over them and they will stand still instead of running when they're running your bees can't really attack them as much but if they're standing still your bees can just deal a ton of damage to them all right and another tip that you need the fire mask or the demon mask when you're doing a stick bug because the demon and fire mask both give you a ton more attack so the demon mask over here gives gives me, I think, like 25% more attack. 25% B attack, yeah. And that 25% more B attack is really overpowered. See, I now have 1,055 attack. And normally, I have 858. But with the demon mask on, it gives me 1,055. So as you can already tell, that's pretty OP. And the fire mask. The fire mask will give you two extra red B attack, which for me, that won't affect me much because I have two red Bs. So <laughs> yeah, I, mm, I don't. I don't have very many red Bs, but that's because I'm a white hive. And it will also give you a bunch of defense, 35 percent defense which is the same as the demon mask it gives you a ton of defense and a ton of attack so be sure you're using either the demon mask or the fire mask when doing a stick bug also here's a quick trick because i'm gonna do a windy bee in just a minute here's a quick trick getting your bee energy to the maximum just by spending one minute doing this so as you can see my bee energy is only 644 on my brave bee but if i do something called double resetting which is you reset your character and all your bees go back into the hive but while they're all inside the hive slots quickly reset again the 
second you respawn and all the bees are going to start flooding in the chat here and it's going to reset their energy amount See, look at that whoa okay that's that's a lot of bees isn't it so if we look at brave bee in just a second at the moment it's at zero but it will be back up to 1033 the second he wakes up see look at that already back at 1033 see it immediately resets all of your bees energy because all of these are back at max look at this insane am i right so that way your bees won't run out of energy mid stick but double resetting at the start really helps all right so this isn't really much of a tip this is more of a, a thing that you should probably know but that's if if you are below half hp go ahead and take down the totems with your buddies so that way you can get your hp back and also you do not die mid stick bug all right and here is one of the most commonly known stick bug glitches ever and it is the most useful stick bug glitch this will help you get an insane score. Like, this will be a huge boost in score for you. So, when Stick Bug comes over here to Bamboo Field, if you go ahead, stand right here in between these two blocks here, these two little flowers, you stand directly here, Stick Bug will run over and he will get stuck. He will not be able to move. Like, once he runs over here and steps on these two blocks, he is stuck. Not forever, but for like a good 10, 15 seconds, he's stuck there. And you can stand up here and all your bees will start attacking him. And because you're elevated above your bees, it will go ahead and all your bees will fly up to you and give you the tokens. The tokens will come to you instead of you having to go down there and collect all your ability tokens. And now here are some shortcuts to get around during the stick bug. So when you're in sunflower field, if it goes up to strawberry field, you can jump up on this fence and you can run across here. And here you are, already at Strawberry Field, no need to run up this ramp here. And another easy way to get around during a stick bug is once it's in the cactus field or in the pumpkin field and stick bug goes up to the mountaintop field, what you can do is you can jump up this cactus like this really quickly, jump up the cactus and run up here. And it's a lot quicker than taking the ramp to get up here. So yeah, this is the, the quick cactus. Let's just call it quick cactus. All right, and here's an easy way to get rid of stick nymphs when it's on the mountaintop field is if you stand over here next to the ticket dispenser, like this all the stick nymphs will come running over to you and they'll fall into this little gap here between the instant converter and the mountaintop field so that's an easy way to clean up nymphs if you don't want all the nymphs on the field so it's pretty useful be sure you do that when nymphs are chasing you especially when you have like a large horde of them Alrighty, and that's about it for today's video guys do not forget to leave a like and subscribe be sure to check out the versatile vector set merch in the links in the description below so be sure to click on those and be sure to join our discord server there's also a link to that in the description but uh yeah goodbye Bye.